Hello. So today we are going to discuss the synthesis of imipramine. <clears throat> so basically, imipramine is what? It is a representative example of TC, that is tricyclic antidepressant. So when we are talking about tricyclic, it means that it should consist of the three fused system, right? Three benzene fuel system. So the main pharmacophore, it includes uh, anthracene type of structure or three fused benzene ring structure. So that is a tricyclic antidepressant. So imipramine is first started upon by the uh, first uh, reactant that is 2-chloromethyl nitrobenzene. So that is 2-chloromethyl nitrobenzene. So this is the structure of that reactant or the precursor that is nitrobenzene basically. And this is CH2Cl, so we are calling it as a chloromethyl. So this is the first reactant from which the imipramine has been synthesized. So that is 2-chloromethyl nitrobenzene. Now when this 2-chloromethyl nitrobenzene undergoes self-condensation, okay, so that will give the second molecule or the second compound that is styrene. So self-condensation means suppose there is a two molecules of 2-chloromethyl nitrobenzene, so that will undergo uh, self-condensation. So here you can just observe this, just I will divide the whole structure into two parts. So this first half is coming from the 2-chloromethyl ethyl nitrobenzene and this part is also coming from chloromethyl nitrobenzene. Means these two are the uh, same part uh, or rather that is coming from the two molecules of 2-chloromethyl nitrobenzene. So that's why it is called a self-condensation. Right? Now 2-chloromethyl nitrobenzene undergoes self-condensation that will produce styrene. Now styrene undergoes reduction. So in the styrene molecule, there is a presence of nitro compound. So whenever nitro compound undergoes reduction by using reducing agents such as tin metal or in presence of HCl and all, so that NO2, NO2 converted into NH2, that is nitro group is converted into amino. So we are getting structure three. So two chloromethyl nitrobenzene structure one undergoes self condensation to produce styrene. Styrene consists of nitro molecule that will undergo reduction, which is acted upon by any reducing agent that will produce the amino compound that is structure three. Now, uh, when this structure three is acted upon by sodium in amyl alcohol, right? So here, if you are observing in the third structure, there is a presence of double bond or the unsaturation is present. So what is the purpose of this sodium in amyl alcohol? Simply the reduction of this double bond. So when structure three is treated with sodium in amyl alcohol, so we are getting the structure four. So structure three and structure four, if you are comparing, both are looking same, except the presence of this double bond. And that double bond has been removed from structure three by using sodium in amyl alcohol. Now, the strong heating of the structure four, that will undergo cyclization. So that cyclization leads to the tricyclic system, which is our target, because this is a main pharmacophore for all the tricyclic antidepressants. So when this structure four undergoes strong heating, so we are getting structure five, which is nothing but our basic pharmacophore, that is tricyclic system. Now this tricyclic system, once pharmacophore has been generated, <clears throat> so this pharmacophore is acted upon by base, that is NaNH2, and then it is acted upon by the uh, side chain, right? That is uh, chloropropyl dimethylamine. So now in this case, that soda, soda amide is acting as a base, so that will accept this proton, right? So here first it will form the sodium salt, and then this will be acted upon by this side chain. So there will be the elimination of HCl. So first, whatever structure five we are getting, that is first acted, acted upon by base, which will accept the proton. Then it is acted upon by the required side chain. And ultimately we are getting imipramine, at this central nitrogen system, right? So this is the side chain, if you're observing, that is three carbon along with dimethyl amino, which is coming from the second substituent. So the structure of imipramine involves self-condensation of two chloromethyl nitrobenzene, followed by reduction by using any reducing agent so that we are getting the amino derivatives. Then amino derivatives acted upon by sodium in amyl alcohol, just to reduce the double bond, which is present in structure three, strong heating of structure four undergoes cyclization to give the main pharmacophore that is tricyclic system and once we are getting that tricyclic system of pharmacophore it is acted upon by base followed by the addition of this side chain so ultimately we are getting imipramine as our final product 
so this is the synthesis of imipramine thank you